Hey, what's up guys, and I'm back in the news. As you guys know, your boy was working with Samsung exclusively on the Galaxy Note, very busy week. I hope you guys have enjoyed the hands-on and the comparisons. Also, don't forget to enter the Mega Galaxy Buds giveaway. All the rules are mentioned in the description. Now we back with the news, a lot to discuss here, such as the hands-on of the Galaxy Fold 2. In case you don't know, there wasn't really any hands-on of the Fold 2 by the YouTubers. Samsung is kind of keeping it as a surprise later on. On and uh, I wasn't able to even see the phone because they were super you know protective of this uh, special baby of course this is going to be a very innovative product really really excited for this but first up we have a big big news that is the One UI 3.0 based on Android 11 it is almost here as reported on samsung.com you can get an early taste of the One UI 3.0 which is based on Android 11 this is actually for the Galaxy S20 series so this includes the S20, S20 Plus, and the S20 Ultra. This right now is a super early pre-beta, pre-close beta for developers. If you are the lucky person who's living in Korea or United States, you can actually uh, try it out, apply for the beta. And even if you are living in these regions, there is some kind of process to it. They're going to take five business days to review your application and then confirm your entry in the beta. So not everyone is promised, but this is looking really, really exciting. I think this is is the fastest Samsung has ever been when it comes to the beta, when it comes to the future big Android updates. So I'm really positive that the official update will come uh, very soon compared to the Android 10 that was released last year. Soon there is going to be a public beta for countries like China, India, Germany, Poland. So we just have to wait for that. But right now it is the early, super early pre-beta phase uh, for only these countries. So yeah, if you are in these countries, definitely do check it out. And if you manage to get it, send me a DM, share your screenshots and videos. I'll definitely do a full video featuring your stuff and uh, we'll have some exciting time. Now with the One UI 3.0, we're going to see some special changes from Samsung's side, but with the Android 11, here's what we're going to see uh, thanks to Google. A lot of these features are already present on the One UI, but there are some cool features from Android 11, such as the proper support for the waterfall and curved displays, which means that we'll have better app optimization, phone drop detection, so your Android phone can detect a drop which sounds really really cool it's been reported that google may try to integrate themselves better in samsung phones so you could see google assistant being pushed as much as they push the bixby uh, voice assistant so this is a great move of course samsung won't be quitting on their own stuff uh, that will still be there uh, but yeah i mean google stuff is really really good i prefer google assistant over bixby any day so definitely looking forward to the one ui 3.0 as far as the update for devices is we're definitely going to see this on the Galaxy S20 series first and then the Note 20 devices. After the latest flagship phones, we're going to see the update coming to the S10 and Note 10 series, followed by the Galaxy A51, A71, the Fold 2, Fold 1, Galaxy Z Flip. All the foldables will get it eventually, uh, but it could come a bit later because these phones are foldable. And then the Tab S7, S7 Plus, uh, Tab S6 as well. I'll definitely make a separate video on the supported devices. Now, the best news of all time is Samsung finally bringing three years of software update. Yes, starting with the Galaxy Note 20 family, Samsung will be bringing three years of software update, uh, which means you can definitely use your phone for a very, very long time. And something that most people kind of missed is that this will actually come to the S10 series as well. So if you have a Galaxy S10e or S10 Plus or the normal S10, you're going to see the three years software update as well. Samsung has confirmed to the verge that they are doing this for the Galaxy uh, Note S and foldable series. As for the Galaxy A lineup, it will mainly depend if their hardware can support the future version. So we still don't know if the three year software update will come to those phones, but probably they might just stick with two year software update on the Galaxy A lineup. Also in the news, we have the Galaxy Fold 2 hands-on. This is uh, coming via Twitter. And uh, basically, like I said, I don't care what anyone says, this is definitely going to be the innovation of the year. It looks so, so damn good with the punch hole, with the slim bezels, the 120 hertz display. It is absolutely crazy. Samsung has mentioned that they have increased the durability with the extra layers to the ultra thin glass. They also have implemented a cam mechanism that allows you to use Use the Galaxy Fold 2 in different fold orientations, kind of like the Galaxy Z Flip, uh, which opens a huge door of possibilities. Uh, watching media, you can just have the phone in different log 
box situation. And then they discuss the sweeper technology to kind of minimize the dust and added resistance. According to Max Weinbach, the Galaxy Fold 2 has an anti-erosion waterproof coating to protect the main components from permanent damage. This is something that they apparently did not mention in their unpacked event. So something that will definitely increase the durability. It will not make the device waterproof, but it will surely be able to survive uh, the accidental drop if that actually happens. I have to say Fold 2 is looking really, really good. The flagship cameras, the Snapdragon 865 Plus running at 3 gigahertz, uh, the gaming performance, everything will be so, so good. I'm really, really looking forward to it. So yeah, big software news. One UA 3.0 is coming. Samsung will most likely be reviewing the applications. If you are someone who's applying, definitely do hit me up if you actually do get accepted. In the meantime, I'll be doing more videos on the Note 20 Ultra and especially the standard Galaxy Note 20 because I do have a lot to say about that phone. So do subscribe for all those content. As always, the giveaway is live. Everything is mentioned in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.